Hello everybody, this is Aman Parikh from Trick Battle and in this video, I am going to give you tips on how can you do well at Trick Battle for the Asia Cup. Alright, so let's get started. Tips for Asia Cup. Tip number one, pick more batsmen. So as you all know, the Asia Cup is going to be hosted in Bangladesh on kind of flat wickets. So it's kind of a given that you should pick more batsmen in your team who are going to give you like more points because obviously they're going to score more hundreds than bowlers are going to take fivers. So point number one to be noted. Like the only point here is that probably a Shikhar Dhawan would be more valuable than a spinner like say Ravi Ashwin. That's just like an example of two names I've given, random names. Tip number two, pick spinners. Like I won't say ignore pacers but try and pick more spinners because as you know subcontinent pitches are better for the spinners so like spinners have a better chance of grabbing a few more wickets than pacers so i'm not saying like don't pick pacers but try and pick more spinners than you pick pacers tip number three pick players who are sure to play like you know that amit mishra is in the indian squad but you don't want to pick him because you don't know if he's 100% going to play or not. And so for point number three, what you can do is you can wait for the toss because Crick Battle, like the official deadline is like as soon as the first ball is bowled. So after the toss is done and the teams are announced, you still have 30 minutes to change your lineups if you need that. So take advantage of those 30 minutes and like you can pick someone like Amit Mishra then if he plays. Like, it's not certain he will. So, if he does, that's your best bet to, like, earn some free points. Tip number four. Pick players from teams who you think will make it to the finals. So, if I feel India and Sri Lanka are going to make it to the finals, then I will pick more Indian and Sri Lankan players. Like, if I pick Dilshan, if I pick Mahela Jayawardhan, if I pick Virat Kohli, I know they will play one extra match than, say, a Mizba Olhaq. So they have a better chance of earning me more points than say a Ms. Baul Huck. And that is why like put your focus on those two teams who you think are going to play the finals and try and pick more players from there. You won't always get like say a Virat Kohli and a Ms. Baul Huck because like others also want those players. But if it's like, but try and pick players from two teams you think will reach the finals and then that, that would give you a better chance to win prizes. And the final tip is all teams will play against Afghanistan at least once. So I'm not saying that don't pick any players from Afghanistan, nor am I saying that Afghanistan is like the weakest team in the lot. But we all know like Afghanistan is not a full ICC nation. It's like an affiliate nation. So it's not like as strong as the other four teams participating. And so try and pick players who you think will perform and play against Afghanistan. Like, some teams could rest their main players like in Afghanistan. So make sure of that. Like you don't want to pick, say, uh, a Mizbah Olag because he might just sit out of the Afghanistan game since it's like not so important for him. I'm just giving an example. Don't take it like seriously. So yeah, keep this point in mind that this point can earn you like a lot of points. This point, this point number five can probably be the decider in like making you win a head to head round or not. So yeah, these were my five points. So like just to recall those five points again, point number one, pick more batsmen. Point number two, pick more spinners because they're your best bet. Point number three, pick players who are sure to play. Point number four, pick players from teams who you think will make it to the finals. And the last point, all teams will play against Afghanistan. So choose smartly. Thank you for watching the video and hope you have a successful Asia Cup at Great Battle.